Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, Konnichiwa, are you all ready for the Japanese class? Want to learn more Japanese? Well, we definitely will learn more Japanese today as we do in each class and also I will tell you something new today. So, let us see what we are going to do now. We have a small radio conversation for you, listen to this conversation and let us see how much you have understood. 明日は金さんの誕生日ですか。いいえ、私の誕生日は明日ではありません。じゃあ、誕生日はいつですか。私の誕生日は2月の11日です。あら、私の誕生日も2月にあります。2月の何日ですか。もう一回です。What was new in the conversation? Can you tell me? Well, there was something new definitely. And as you have already learnt how to tell shumi, which is hobby, how to tell where you are from, what, what is your senmon, the next question would be, well, what is your birthday, which is tanjobi. So, I will read the conversation for you once and then I will tell you exactly what it is. We have done tanjobi last time as well in our previous lesson. So, in that we did something different, we did the positive, this time we will do the Negative. Tanaka and Kim san. Tanaka and Kim, two people. Futari ne? Hai. Ja, ashita wa Kim san no tanjobi desu ka? Iie, watashi no tanjobi wa ashita dewa arimasen. Ja, tanjobi wa itsu desu ka? Watashi no tanjobi wa nigatsu no ju ichi nichi desu. Ara, watashi no tanjobi mo nigatsu ni arimasu. Nigatsu no 何日ですか? 6日です。So, well, Tanjobi you already know. I am sure most of it is understood. The only new part over here is Deva Arimasen. So, Tanjobi wa wa ashita this, which is positive, ashita means tomorrow, we have already done this time expression, tanjobi wa ashita dewa ari ma sen, it is not tomorrow. So, you can also answer like this and instead of ashita, you can also put your date and ask. Tanjobi wa sangatsu mikka desu ka? Sangatsu mikka desu ka? A question ka over here. Instead of ashita time expression sangatsu mikka the third of March. You can also ask iie watashi no tanjobi wa sangatsu mikka dewa arimasen. Can also answer like this. Now, ja tanjobi wa itsu desu ka? When? Third line, watashi no tanjobi wa nigatsu no ju ichi nichi desu. So, you can ask like this, ara, watashi no tanjobi mo nigatsu ni arimasu. Ara is just an expression where you show some surprise, ara, oh really, is that so? Watashi no tanjobi mo Mo also you have done earlier, which means also watashi no tanjobi mo nigatsu ni arimasu. My tanjobi, my birthday is also in February. Nigatsu no nan nichi desu ka? Well, which, what date of February? Muika desu, which is the 6th. So, you can talk like this, have a small dialogue with your friends about 
Tanjobi. You can tell your Tanjobi, you can ask about Tanjobi, you can give the date of your Tanjobi and so on. This is in the script, you can see translation, it is not actually a translation, but well the meaning is there. Now you can see over here, anata no tanjobi wa itsu desu ka, jugatsu no jugo nichi desu and if you want to say no then, ie jugatsu no jugo nichi dewa arimasen. You can change jugatsu no jugo nichi for any of these over here, ichigatsu suitachi, sangatsu mikka. 5月25日、8月2日 and you can answer in this or deva arimasen. Now, over here, anata no tanjobi wa itsu desu ka? Question, that is what we were practicing. Well, over here instead of tanjobi, as you can see over there, you can replace it with shiken, which is test kekkon, which is marriage and uh, nyugaku shiken, which is entrance exam or anything party, anata no party wa itsu desu ka? Any of these you can, you can replace it with over here. So many are given. Shiken is test, kekkon marriage, kekkon kinenbi marriage anniversary, nyugaku shiken of course you can see is entrance examination, tenrankai exhibition and tanjobi birthday as we are doing. Over here kekkon is marriage and the actual marriage ceremony is kekkon shiki. So, you can replace tanjobi for any of these and ask and give date as I had given you here. You can put any date over here any month for example, we just did sangatsu mikka or any of the previous in the previous slide. I had given you dates, you can put any of those dates, the ones you have practiced and you can tell your shiken, kekkon, tenrankai, tanjobi, kekkon kinembi, anything in this manner. Well, instead of anata, now you can add all the vocabulary that you have done earlier, which is watashi, imoto, tomodachi, okasan, any of this, you can add and use and make sentences and do a small conversation with your friend. Now, this was just revision. Well, now we are going to do something new today. I have already done the first part of this exercise with you in our previous lesson, where I told you about arimas. which means you show location of a certain object at a certain place. So, now as we have done for things, we will do for living things now. Last time we did for inanimate objects, now this time we will do for animate, for living things, for people, for animals, for people. What is the verb you will use instead of arimas, arimas is for non-living things. So, well, noun 1 wa, noun 2 ni or place ni ari mas is what we did. Hon wa soko ni arimas or we did hon wa tsukue no 
ue ni arimas. This is what we practiced last time. Now, this time we will do Tanaka. Tanaka san wa soko ni imas. Tanaka san is present over there. So, please for people and for animals it is imas and not arimas. Shows location of living things at a certain point. Presence of living things at a certain point point or place. Now, we will do this small conversation again. Listen to this and see. Rao san wa doko desu ka? Rao san wa shokudo ni imasu. Tanaka sensei mo shokudo ni imasu ka? Iie, sensei wa kaigishi ni imasu. Ano, kaigishi tsu wa doko desu ka? Well, did you understand something? This conversation is also between two people, Anu and Arun. Well, I will read it for you. Rao san wa doko desu ka? Rao san wa shokudo ni imasu. Tanaka sensei mo shokudo ni imasu ka? Iie. Sensei wa kaigi shitsu ni imasu. Ano, kaigi shitsu wa doko desu ka? Kaigi shitsu wa elevator no mai ni arimasu. Arigato. So now you will see how arimasu and imasu are used for non-living and living things. Most of it is understood, I am sure. Doko, of course, you know where. Shokudo is? Shokudo is the canteen or the dining hall. Shokudo ni imas. So, person wa place ni imas. Imas is for existence of people, ni is for place at that particular point or place or location. Tanaka sensei mo shokudo ni imas ka? Now, a question Tanaka sensei mo also you have done also shokudo ni imasu ka? Iie sensei wa kaigi shitsu meeting room or conference room ni imasu. Ano, if you remember we did this ano earlier. Ano is just to attract attention instead of instead of sumimasen which is a little more formal you can use ano which is more informal. Ano kaigi shitsu wa Doko desu ka? Doko again you, we have done earlier means where? Kaigi shitsu wa elevator, elevator, elevator no mai ni arimasu. So, as we are talking about kaigi shitsu, arimasu comes over here. It is in front of the elevator. Thank you very much. So, that is the small conversation which you can do on your own as well. Now, you know a lot of words and vocabulary and you can make sentences with the help of particles. So, try this conversation changing using different words vocabulary that you have learnt. This is in the script as you can see your translation. Now, as I told you earlier imas is a verb which means to exist or to be and shows existence of a person or an animal at a certain location or point. You have examples here, you can go over the examples and see. Also, we have done locational nouns in our previous chapter. Here also, we will cover a few more locational nouns for you. Now, you have this picture here, where you can see a teacher, a blackboard and some students sitting in the classroom. So, what are they going to do? How do we tell they are there in the classroom and how many people are there? So, well, Mina san wa doko ni imasu ka? 
minasan is all of them, wa doko means where, ni imasu ka wera de present. Minasan wa kyoshitsu no naka ni imasu. You can also say kyoshitsu ni imasu and remove the naka over there, but just to be more specific, minasan wa kyoshitsu no naka ni imasu. They are inside the classroom. Sensei wa doko desu ka? So, instead of saying doko ni imasu ka, you can ask a direct question. Sensei wa doko desu ka? Sensei wa gakusei no mai ni imasu. So, sensei is in front of the students. Sensei wa gakusei no mai in front of them ni imasu. Now, we did with sensei. How will you use arimasu over here? Kokuban, which is blackboard, wa doko ni arimasu ka? Kokuban wa sensei no ushiro ni arimasu, behind the teacher. And sensei wa doko desu ka? Earlier we did sensei wa doko desu ka? And there was another answer. Now let us see what they have to say. Sensei wa kokuban no mai ni imasu. So over here, kokuban is the subject and over here, Sensei is the subject. So, with respect to sensei, where is the kokuban, where is the blackboard? Now, what you can do is you can practice location of the cat over here. Where exactly is the cat? Is it under the table over here? You can see under the chair, inside the box, behind the chair, and on top of the chair. So, let us see what it is in Japanese. Neko wa isu no shita ni imasu. Neko wa haku no naka ni imasu. Of course, over here again, you can remove the naka over here. Neko wa haku ni imasu is also used and correct. Neko wa isu no ue ni imasu on top of the chair. And we have neko wa isu no ushiro ni imasu. So, this is how you can use your uh, locational nouns that we have studied and you can tell exactly where a thing is placed or where a person is placed with respect to another thing. Now, let us see if you can give me the answers over here. Honda san wa doko ni imasu ka? Honda san wa Tanaka san no ushiro ni imasu, behind Tanaka san. Tanaka san wa doko ni imasu ka? Tanaka san wa kaisha ni imasu or heya ni imasu, heya no naka ni imasu, inside the room. Well, this is a phone, so it is inanimate. Now, what is the verb that you are going to use? Will you tell me? Well, let us see what is given over here. Denwa wa doko ni arimasu ka? So, you have to remember for people it is imasu and for non-living inanimate it is arimasu. Denwa wa tsukue no ue ni arimasu. And then we have this lady over here. Hisho san wa doko ni imasu ka? Hisho wa Tanaka san no hidari ni imasu. Hidari is left. Left from where you are watching and not from where Tanaka san's hand is. You have done imasu and arimasu. Imasu and arimasu. You understand this very clearly. Imasu is for living and arimasu is for non living things. Now, you have done counting over here as hitotsu, futatsu or ikutsu which is how many and so on or iko, iko, niko or nanko okay, for how many. Now, over here how will you count people? So, none is the word for 
None is a question word anyway and what will you add after none? Well, for people it is nin. So, it is nan nin. So, for example, if you want to ask in the previous classroom slide where sensei is there with the students, you can say heya no naka ni kyoshitsu no naka ni nan nin imasu ka. So, how many people are there in the kyoshitsu? Now, we can practice over here. It is very simple with nin except for one person or two people which is hitori and futari respectively. It is number and nin, san nin, yo nin, go nin and so on. With the number you just add nin to it, meaning those many number of people are present at a certain place inside a room or wherever. Yo over here is an exception, hitori is an exception and futari is again an exception. Otherwise, it is all numbers all the time. Now, you can practice nin is the counter used for counting people. Now, you would be understanding counters by now because we have done a number of counters so far. Well, you can look at the picture and tell how many people are there. Hitori, in this picture over here, you see a single person, a girl reading something, maybe thinking. So, Hitori, Hitori this. Over here, we have two people, Futari. Hitori and Futari are the two exceptions over here. You can ask, Nan nin imasu ka in the first picture, Hitori this. Nan nin imasu ka, Futari this. You have how many people can you tell me? Well, yonin, yonin this. So, you have four people here, yonin, shashin no naka ni nan nin imasu ka? Shashin no naka ni yonin imasu. Okay, now you can tell me, kono shashin no naka ni nan nin imasu ka? So, you have hitori, futari, san nin. Yonin and Gonin. So, how many people are there? Well, we have Gonin. Shashin no naka ni Gonin imasu. You can practice more over here in this slide. Let us see what the question is. Heya ni nan nin imasu ka? So, hitori, futari, san nin, yonin, gonin, rokunin, nana nin and hachini. Let us see how many are there. Ja heya ni, you tell me how many people are there. Well, heya ni hachinin imasu. You can practice more of this. Shashin ni nan nin imasu ka? So, we have a shashin for you. Nan nin imasu ka? Minasan, dozo. Let us see. Shashin ni yonin imasu. Once again, nan nin imasu ka or shashin ni gonin imasu ka? Shashin ni gonin imasu ka? What is the answer? Do we have five people here? Hitori, futari, san nin, yonin, gonin and there is one person hidden over here. So, we have six people, rokunin and the question is shashin ni gonin imasu ka? So, the answer is Iie shashin ni gonin imasen, shashin ni rokunin imasu. Then we have another picture over here for you of this park and kono shashin ni nan nin imasu ka? Well, kono shashin ni yonin imasu. And as we have a picture which has four people here, you can also answer kono shashin mo yonin imasu. Is that all right? So, you can use mo also, you can use wa also, whichever you want. Now, you can ask like this shashin ni san nin imasu ka? Iie shashin ni san nin imasen yonin imasu. 
Look at this picture. Shashin ni yonin imasu ka? Iie, shashin ni yonin imasen, gonin imasu. So, instead of nannin, you can also use the number and ask how many people are there. Now, as we always do, we will, we will do kanji also. Over here, you can see there is a very complicated character, but not as complicated as, as it seems actually. You can make it on the board and you will see how simple it is. You have done the word ushiro. Kokuban wa sensei no ushiro ni arimasu or for, for that matter kokuban wa watashi no mai ni arimasu. It is right here in front of me. At the moment it is behind if I am looking this side it is if I am looking towards you it is behind me. So, this is the word that we are going to do ushiro. One, two, three. One part of the kanji. One, two, three. Second part of the kanji. Then the third part is one, two, and three like this. So it's a nine-stroke character. You will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine meaning ushi ro. Ushiro. It has other meanings also, but for the time being as we have done this word, just this one word, Ushiro, we will try to remember it as Ushiro. Also, if I am not mistaken, we have also done Gogo as Gogo, that is PM meaning later. So, you can also remember it as Go. It is a nine stroke character. We have another one over here for you. You have again done this word, mai. Now, one, two, three. This character you have done, if you remember, month and this over here. So, let us see how many strokes are there to this character. One, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, again this is also a 9 stroke character as Ushiro, Mai, Mai. Mai means front of or ahead or before. So, well, 2 characters for you today. a few words, new words with these kanji characters. You have ato de, ato de, ushiro, ato gaki means a postscript, mai, front, ahead, mai ba is front teeth, ba means tooth, Mai kaki or mai gaki is a preface. So, well, these are some words, new words with characters which you can learn and practice also. Now, the Japanese have a very typical expression they use before um, eating, before they start to eat. This expression I think we did last time, itadaki. Must they will join hands and then say thank you God for all the food that you are giving me. Well, what is the, what do they say after having eaten food? What is the word or the expression they use after eating and thanking God again for all the good food that he has provided? Well, the word is gochiso sama. So, you can see you join your hands and you say itadaki. Mas ita da ki mas, and then you say go chi so sama 
after finishing your food, after you are through with your food, you thank God again for all the good food that he has provided. So, go chi so sa ma. Please learn these two expressions, they are nice, they are very handy, they make you very comfortable in Japan and they also and the Japanese also like it very much that you are using their expressions very, very freely and nicely where they are supposed to be used. Now, this is some vocabulary, you can go through the vocabulary, we did these words in the lesson. I will just read it out once very quickly, hidari, migi, the meanings are given right here on the right side in black, kokuban, koen, hisho, kazoku, akachan. Remember one thing when you are practicing at home, please practice loudly, so that you can hear what you are practicing and it helps a lot finally in the long run. Well now my work is over and your work begins over here. You have to do your assignments at home, you have to practice all this that we have done here in class, match group A with group B which we generally do, so that you remember your vocabulary. And then of course, this is the most important part where you have to remember your kanji characters which you need to write, write them in hiragana over here. So, that is all that is there for today. I want you to do these assignments at home and we will do something new again in our next lesson, next class till then. Mata Aimasho. Thank you.